Well, we got a good one today. 1981 Yamaha Vir Virago? Virago? 700, 750, I'm not sure. I don't know. This bike I got for free five years ago. And I ended up trading it for some boom sticks. You know, it was free. Hey. Well, it was stolen from the guy that I traded it to. Five years later, pops up in some storage facility four hours away from me, still in my name. They wanted me to pay $300 for the storage fees, blah, blah, blah. Okay, well, if I have to pay $300, I'm going to go get the bike. So we got the bike back. It's rough. It's in rough shape. Tons of stuff missing. But I had to pay $300 for a bike that I got for free a long time ago. So today we're going to see if we can get this thing to turn over, see if this engine's still good. If it is, maybe we can put some more money into it. Make a rider again. I don't know. But anyways, welcome to Dirty Curdy Customs. Okay, so we'll take a little look over the bike, see what we're going to need to get this thing started. First off, front tire looks shot. It's flat. The uh, front brake lever, which was brand new when I owned it, hanging off. I mean, I think it's just Amazonian stuff, but missing the starter button. No key, but I think, uh, you know, the people that stole this took care of that for me. Uh, no key for the gas tank. Also been taken care of. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, this bike has 24,000 miles on it, so not too bad for a 1980. This is a V-twin bike. I remember it had like loud drag pipes on it. Um, I don't know what's going on here. They looks like they put a Coke bottle on one carburetor trying to get fuel to it. And uh, yeah... I don't know. Did they not see the other side where it takes fuel on both carburetors? Missing the battery. Looks like we still got the wiring for a battery, which, ooh, that's broke, is good. Um, so that all looks good. Still got the same license plate that I put on it five years ago, 2019. Please don't steal my license plate number. Um, we got, it's missing the side cover, a bunch of wiring just hanging out here. I don't know what is going on with that. Uh, we're missing the cover. I believe this is for the clutch. The clutch is still hooked up, so hopefully that still works. Yeah, see, it takes fuel to both carburetors, so I don't know what they were trying to do there. This gas tank has been... Really poorly spray painted, runs everywhere with some, you know, metallic paint. I don't know. <clears throat> Seems like a crystal methamphetamine paint job. The tank's all dented up. Some cruddy Bondo work on it that it was not like that when I got rid of it. So, other than that, if we can get this thing to turn over, we're going to have to hot wire it. I think we can get it running. I don't know. We'll put some gas to it, see if we got spark. You know the deal. So anyways, I acquired this bike five years ago. I was given a like mid-90s Ford Ranger two-wheel drive that had a misfire and a clean title. It was, it was just given to me that one of my friends had to get it out of their yard, so they gave it to me. Um, I got the Ranger running. I ended up trading it straight across for this bike. Um, this bike was completely stock. And I'll throw some pictures up here uh, of the Ranger and the Yamaha when I got it. So anyways, I got it. It was a free bike. It ran good. So 
So I chopped the back of it off, wanted to make a little bobber out of it, put some new bars on it, you know, grips, clutch brake levers, um, all that stuff. But it was a good running bike. So I ended up riding it for a summer and then I traded it for a couple of boom booms, you know. Mm -hmm. So anyways, traded the bike. And I guess it ended up being stolen. The guy never switched it out of my name. The bike was stolen, uh, you know, by obviously some people that like to use drugs, I guess. Anyways, ends up in a storage facility. Uh, storage facility wasn't paid. So whoever bought it on auction or something, I don't know. It ended up getting towed and they sent me a letter saying they'd had it for so many days and I owed them $350 or whatever for storage, storage fees, tow fees, and told me the bike was so rough that it wasn't worth me coming to get and whatever that meant. So I was like, okay, well, I'm coming to get it then. So we go get the bike. Here we are. This is what, this is what we end up with. So. Let's dig in a little more, see what we can do to get this thing fire up. Okay, first thing I'm gonna do is check the oil. Let's see, oh, okay. There must be a sight glass somewhere on this. Uh, is that it? Can we see anything in there? Might need to get a light on that. Huh. Can't really tell. Oh. Yeah, maybe there's a level in there. I don't know. We're going to say there is. So, next thing, I got a missing starter button. So, I'm going to have to take this off and probably put some wires together for that. I guess I need to put a battery in this next. Which I don't have. I have one in my four-wheeler, so I think we'll use the one out of the four-wheeler. I'll go grab that. We'll try to put some air in the tire. See if we can get some power on this thing. All right, we'll come over here. Get the battery out of this. Ooh. Looks like we've had some uh, critters hanging out in here. That's not good. This battery is, I don't know if it's going to fit, but it should work to get that thing turning over. So I'll get this out, get it over there. Yeah, it doesn't really fit, but should work. Also, um, upon further inspection, I shined a light on this sight glass and I didn't see any oil in there. So luckily I have a quart of some wet clutch oil. It's actually V-twin oil too. So... I'm gonna hook up the battery. I'm gonna hook this fuel hose back up. Try to get this open. See if we can see if this tank leaks at all. I don't know if that's why they have it unhooked or not. We'll throw some gas in it and then I'll tear this apart. Also, there's a bunch of rope tied around the front of this. I don't know if that's how they were towing it or trying to pull start it. These old Viragos are notorious for having starter issues. So hopefully this still works. Looks like it's been leaking oil too. So I'll get the battery hooked up, get the tank hooked up, and start messing with wiring. See if I can do this without a funnel. They actually make it pretty easy. There we go. See if she'll turn on. So. I still can't, I don't know if it's so full you can't see anything. I don't know, I'm trying to move it up. Is it really that low on oil or is it just way over full? I can't really tell. Oh wait, some just come on the bottom there. It might be just super low. I might need to go run down and get another quart, I don't know. But we'll see if it'll turn over. Okay, so... I pretty much just dug the rest of that ignition out of there and I think I can get this to turn with the battery hooked up no power so I checked all the fuses up here 
This fuse box is pretty tatered, but all the fuses are good, all the wires are hooked up. So then I come down here and I got this ground wire nutted on. And now this is not something I did. This is something someone else did. Wire nutted on yellow wire. Then I come over here, there was a wire, a yellow wire hanging out of this, wire nutted. Like seriously, two wire nuts when you could have just taken this wire and boom, wire nutted to there. So that's what I'm gonna do for now. See if we can get power. Okay, I had to cut this harness open because every time I tried to strip that little black wire, it was just falling apart because it was old and crusty. So, got that put together. And now, oh, well, I had it. Now it's not working. We have power up here. I thought the neutral light was coming on, which it is not now. Don't know why. But anyways, that turn signal light is coming on. Oh yeah, okay. Okay, do we have headlight? No headlight yet. Hmm. So now I need to get into this, see if we can get some wires hooked up there. Okay, so I pulled this part. I don't really know what's going on here. There's only a black wire, a blue wire, touch them together, nothing really happens, I don't know. But, there's a solenoid down here, and I turn the ignition on, and the starter sounds really weak, but it tries. So... Really weak. I don't know if it's this battery. The battery is fully charged in the four wheeler, but it might not be enough. Or these old Viragos are notorious for starter issues. But I'm gonna try to put some gas in it now, see if the tank leaks. I got the fuel line hooked back up and uh, give it another shot. Um, for this, I don't know, I have some Honda Shadow old controls and I think I have something that'll go on here so we can put the front brake back on. Anyways, let's throw some gas in this. Gotta try to get this open now. So, I don't know. Let's see if we can even get it open. Somewhat turns. It doesn't wanna open though. Oh, this tank's bad. I'll try to get that open. I got this open. Um, doesn't look terrible i dropped a little bit of paint in there but throw some gas in there and see please don't leak nothing leaking yet on this side at least can't see the other side is it dumping out on the other side before i go any further and no, I'm gonna shut this off for now. Is that off? I think that's off. All right, put some more in it. Got just enough to probably get this thing to start. And that's about all I got. Hopefully that's enough to get it to start on reserve. I had to pry this open. One side was still locked. I don't know. Yeah. I'll figure that out later. All right. Let's try turning this over again. Ignition's on. I mean, we probably should test for spark, but let's just try it. Ignition's on. I turn these on reserve. I pulled the choke. Starter is weak. Yeah, not wanting to go. We might have to pull start this thing. Oh, it's 
getting weaker. Uh, I don't know what to do here. Guess maybe get a charger out. Throw a charger. Ooh, smell gas. It almost smells like starting fluid. Hmm. Let me think about this for a minute, but we're getting gas. I threw my little battery charger on there and it does seem to turn over a little better, but there's definitely still something wrong with that starter. So I'm gonna let it charge for a little bit and then we'll try it again, turn the ignition on and see what happens. See if we can get any kind of fire out of it. Actually, I'm, I think I'll pull a plug, see if we're getting any spark. Okay, so I turn the ignition on, look for spark. <laughs> Definitely turned over a little better. It's not that great though. And definitely no spark. So I'm gonna have to look into, I think it probably has something to do with the switch. No spark. So I am gonna dig into this switch a little. Maybe it's this kill switch. Okay, so I've been tinkering on this thing for a while. And I was just messing with some wires down here. All of a sudden, the neutral light came on, which is what I first thought I seen. What I, th I thought I seen that first uh, when I first got the ignition turned on. And I think there's something going on with the kickstand switch. I lost the blinkers, but I got the neutral. And I've also got spark now. I don't know if you guys can see it. Here, let me see. Get this up here on here. Uh, let's see if you guys can see. I'll turn the ignition on. Oh, come on, stay up there. I had spark. It wasn't. I don't know if it was very strong, but yeah, you can barely see it. But it should be enough to get it started. But now that this thing has compression, when I'm turning it over, the starter is just too weak. Come on, stay up there while I'm cranking. Yeah, I want to show you guys that this thing does have spark now. Well, I've seen it for a second. Anyways, it does have spark. I can smell fuel. Now I just need to get this thing to turn over. Oh. Yeah, the neutral light's still on. I needed to get it to turn over long enough to get it to start up, or I'm gonna have to try and pull start it, I guess. So let me get this plug back in, see if it'll start. Okay, well, I can't get it to turn over long enough to start up. It like cranks over twice, and then the starter does this weird stuff. So we're gonna hook it to the back of the Tahoe, I think, right now and try to pull it up the road, try to bump start it, see what happens. So hang tight, should be fun.
Oh, and it just died. Dang it. Uh, the choke is definitely stuck. It's all rusty. But hey, it started. I hope we got that on camera. So now we know it runs. We can try to fix some stuff. Also, this tire needs a tube. Needs a whole new tire and a tube. But So she's pulling me with a flat tire. I don't know. That's awesome. Maybe we'll try again. Well, it runs. Not very good, but it runs. It obviously still needs a lot of work. The wiring is corroded. There's stuff to do. But now that we know that it runs, we can invest a little bit more time and money into this thing. So comment down below. What do you guys think we should do with this? Do you want to see us work on this some more? Get it up into being a cruiser or not? I don't know. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Check us out next time on Dirty Care to Customs.